welcome back to the Citizen Channel. We're all staying safe and well. This is uh, yeah, City Past and Present. This is this is present, of course. As soon as you've watched it, it'll probably be in the past. But uh, uh, we've just had a, an international break. We've had a few problems before. We've had players returning from injury, etc. So I've been keeping a close eye on on what's going on with our key players, especially with some big games and uh, who's fit and who's not fit uh, for the games coming up. So just a quick one-off special, an update for you and, and me as well, because I've been checking right up to about 10 or 15 minutes before putting this vlog together of uh, what the injury situation is and what, what likely problems we've got for the Liverpool game or who's probably not going to play. So I've made a bit of a judgment on things and just checked uh, all the latest information. So I'm recording this on Tuesday the 21st of November, 3pm. So we'll have a quick look. It's not all as bad as we think because uh, we've still got a pretty good team we can stick out. But uh, we'll talk about my little Pepsi 11 later and when, when that will be available if you're to watch. If you're so interested, please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notification, everything city, past and present, as I said. Uh, great to have you on board. Spread the word, guys. Uh, much appreciated. Let me know your thoughts, let me know your comments. Let me know if you've heard anything more than I've heard. Uh, that'd be great. And uh, keep me up to date as well. We try and keep each other up to date. So and give us a thumbs up, guys, if you can. Give us a like. Be much appreciated. Yes, our next four fixtures. I've only gone to the next four because uh, they're very big games, aren't they? They're very important games. 25th of November, Liverpool at home. 28th of November, Leipzig at home in the Champions League. A, a draw, I think, will guarantee us top spot in that one. 3rd of December, Spurs at home. And the 6th of December, Villa away. I mean, that just gets us through the next, what, two or three weeks? A couple of weeks? It's not long, is it? So who's on the current Crocs list and who has a chance of coming back? And uh, when do I think they might come back, reading between the lines of what's going on? Well, let's obviously KDB. We know we're not going to have him for Liverpool with his hamstring. Uh, what Guardiola has said most recently, he said he says he feels really good but still isn't training or running much. I'd say he's the last one to come back and train with us. I won't say two weeks, one week. We don't put pressure. The doctors say next step, no pressure, recover. It's not necessary to do the bad decisions to come back early, step by step. Uh, my prediction, yeah, he's, he's got to be back in some sort of full training around Christmas time. I can't see it before then. Uh, early December, perhaps some light, light training. But uh, if he's on those images in the gallery that City do uh, training away around about middle of December towards Christmas, uh, yeah, I think he should be talking about getting him on the bench in, in early in the new year, hopefully. I mean, it has been hinted at February, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping by the middle of January he's available for selection. Matteo Kovacic, yeah, uh, a muscular thigh injury, quadricep strain, I think that's someone else has uh, put down there, quadricep strain, whatever that is. He was involved, of course, in the Chelsea game, was a second half substitute, uh, but he had to come off with a problem. I did, he didn't feature for his country, of course, in this international break. The, I think they had games against Latvia and Armenia. Uh, he has to, there's, you know, this is a struggle. He's not, not going to be ready for Liverpool, definitely not. Probably hoping he's going to be on the bench for the Spurs game, but uh, I think more likely we're not going to see him till after these four key games, probably uh, available to start against Luton. That's on the 10th of December. But, uh, yeah, I think we're, we've got another two, three weeks without old Kovacic uh, just at the moment. Nathan Aki, a funny one. Yeah, unspecified injury, but uh, I've heard I've heard shoulder injury and a reoccurring shoulder injury being bandied about. And of course, he picked this up before the Chelsea match. We did expect him to to play, and he didn't. Uh, it was so he's unavailable for that uh, that game. City are yet to provide a later update on them, but uh, he did withdraw, of course, from Netherlands uh, duty. Uh, for these uh, this international break against, I think they're due to play Republic of Ireland, Gibraltar. Uh, I'm worried about Nathan. Uh, with not with not too much information forthcoming. I mean, no news is good news, they say, don't they? But I don't particularly believe that. Um, if it is a reoccurrence of an injury, because I think he's had this problem before. Again, like Kovacic, I can't see him featuring or anywhere near the team until uh, Luton away on the 10th of December. So we'll have to see. Uh, we might surprise us, but the, the lack of information on Nathan Aki does worry me. So uh, I say, let, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, Erling Haaland, yes, picked up an ankle injury during Norway's 2-0 win over the Faroe Islands. Yes, uh, 
did he have to play against the Faroe Islands? I suppose he had to, didn't he? And he missed the meeting with Scotland, of course. He said himself he vowed on social media to be back fit and firing as soon as possible. That was last Saturday. Norwegian manager Stael Sobakken has suggested Erling Haaland could have faced Scotland on Sunday. It's his movement in the foot, he said. That's a problem, but it's not a serious injury. Solback and told reporters on Saturday evening, had the game against Scotland been a final? I don't know. You, know, you play him and then rest him, don't you? But it's not. We've, we've only just started the season, really. Maybe Ealing has taught to City, but we haven't, he said. Our doctor has made his own judgment on it and all parties agree it's probably a little bit too early. But it's not a career-threatening injury. Well, well thank God for that. That's all I can say. Um, yeah, Pep will probably call this a niggle uh, and that is a bit of a worry for me. Um, my prediction, um, I think Pep... If it isn't as bad as it seems, uh, we'll be willing to risk him against Liverpool and then rest him up for that Leipzig game, which follows on quite quickly. But with Spurs and Villa, both big, big league games, of course, quickly to follow. I think he's likely he'll miss at least, he'll miss at least one of these. Now, which one it'll be... Um, don't think he's going to be Liverpool. I think he's going to be chanced against Liverpool. Start him, see how he goes. Keep a close eye on him. If he feels anything at all, just drag him off. Uh, that's my that's my opinion. Of course, uh, if he gets through that, okay. He won't be playing against Leipzig, giving that extra rest. So he's all good to start against Spurs and Villa. So be interesting to see that one. So I think that is a definite. They're all fingers crossed, but that definitely is. John Stones, yes, a, a thigh injury, a muscular problem. Limped off, limped off, of course. So it's not very good when players limp off, is it? They walk off with a little bit of bit of uh, a sulk on the face. It's fair enough, but when you limp off, it's not great. And he limped off against young boys. Guardiola said at the time, we'll see after the international break, the doctor said to me, it's not bad, I don't know, but I don't want to create tempo of time frame, when he's fit again he'll come back. Uh, prediction wise we never want to see Stones rush back do we? he's like he's like fine china we can't take those risks with him. Uh, prediction, I, I can't see him in the frame for Liverpool. Um, if he gets on the bench for Leipzig I'll, I'll be more than happy and we go from there but uh, I think he's definitely out of this Liverpool game anyway. Uh, Nunes, yes, this is another one, unspecified really, but it's classed as a muscular, which covers a, a multitude of sins, of course, Mat Matthias Nunes. A uh, statement from the Portuguese FA read, the midfielder is unfit for Portugal's two games. Matthias Nunes was declared clinically unfit for games against Liechtenstein and Iceland after undergoing tests. So that wasn't great, because he went. Uh, so obviously we must have been happy for him to go. Very odd. Uh, a big question mark. Perhaps he got injured in a training session, I don't know. But uh, he wouldn't start against Liverpool. He wouldn't be starting against Liverpool anyway. If a start or a bench against Leipzig, then he'll probably be back in the squad for Spurs and Villa. But uh, so he's not the big big part player as yet. So it is a worry, but obviously not, a, not too much detriment to the squad and the team. Edison, yeah, a foot injury that he suffered against Chelsea, of course. I thought it might have hindered him a little bit for the... Uh, certainly a couple of their goals however the Brazil keeper also withdrew from international duty Mr Allison will have to step in uh, so that's a good thing because obviously they fly back quite late don't they uh, he was able to play out that 90 minutes during the Chelsea game but apparently the, the pain in his, in his ankle in his foot uh, became more intense so that, that is a worry it was in definite discomfort at the end of the game um, we certainly wasn't wasn't messed about withdrawing him from international duty. Um, having said that, I still I think he'll play against Liverpool. I think Ortega will start the Leipzig game. I can't see him not playing unless it's a lot worse than we're being led to believe. Uh, as, as we used to say in the old days, I'm sure he'll run it off in training, but uh, I think the rest would have probably done him good. And he's not been messing about getting on planes and coming back. So that's a good sign as well. So I do expect him to play against Liverpool, but then get the rest against at Leipzig next week, of course. Sergio Gomez, an interesting one. Yeah, he was on crutches at one stage, but uh, apparently uh, it's not it's not too much apart from a straightforward sprain. So he's, he's expected back in training. Obviously, the, with the international break, I think the full squad won't be back together again for a couple of days anyway. So we'll have to see with that. I mean, my prediction is he probably if it is only sprain, he's back in training because the bench is going to be a little bit Iffy against Liverpool, I can see him being on the bench for it, uh, just to make the numbers up. Uh, you know, obviously, if they need to put him on, uh, we're in trouble, aren't we? But uh, yeah, and I think then he may get a, a start against Leipzig if he's very lucky, if he does uh, get rid of that little sprain. 
Rodri, yeah, there was a scare about Rodri, but I think we're all right. He didn't play the full game against Georgia, but uh, I think he came off about 86 minutes, but I don't think it was an injury. I think, you know, I wouldn't have, been, I wouldn't have minded him being dragged off a little bit earlier, but, uh, yeah, uh, I've, we've not had any fallback on that, uh, fallout on that one, on Rodri, so it looks as though it should be okay. Uh, you know, obviously we've got Phillips, so what are we worried about? Yeah, I think Phillips will be all right. I mean, I was a little bit unhappy, I mean, getting away from the players. I was unhappy. I watched the England-North Macedonia game. The treatment that uh, was dished out to the England players, including our quartet, of course, that, that uh, started the game, uh, that was allowed by the referee, was ridiculous. Uh, at certain stages of that game, I saw Lewis limping. I saw Foden limping. Uh, again, I've not heard anything untoward after this, but... Uh, Hopefully, Walker, Lewis, Grealish, and Folden, after a couple of days rest, uh, you know, hopefully they've not been spotted back in the back back at the CFA today, having treatment or anything like that. We'll get a couple of days off after international duty, of course. But uh, uh, I do hope uh, that they'll all be available for the Liverpool game. As I said, I wasn't. It was it, they were they were awful. Macedon, they were dirty. They were horrible. And the referee was a total waste of time, as we know. So that was a worry. But as I said, I've not you know unless you've heard anything differently, I've not heard anything too untoward. And Rico after the match and De and uh, Walker were were uh, chatting away amiably and seemed okay. And uh, of course, it was uh, Rico's birthday today. Happy happy birthday. So there we go, uh, and I think people like Doku, I think they've all come back okay, so I don't see any problems. Uh, Oscar Bob, who scored his first international goal, you know, he's there in the squad now, and uh, I think he's got an old head on his shoulders, and we might need to use him over the next three or four games at some stage as well. So Liverpool, I take a stab at the following, uh, definitely not starting against Liverpool. I think I'm safe with KDB, Aki, Stones, Kovacic, Gomez and Nunes all all not available so it is stretching the squad a little bit it'll be a very interesting bench for Liverpool of course uh, they're lacking a little bit of match experience we, we stick two keepers on the bench as it is now so that, that's not going to change and of course uh, uh, if he drafts in one or two of the of the EDS, the following Tuesday's Champions League game will require, uh, which requires just a draw to guarantee top spot. So that will also be an interesting squad. But we'll talk about that near the time, of course. So thanks for watching, guys. Please check out my uh, little special on City versus Liverpool, the Premier League years. So we look back at last year's game. We look back at the the very first Premier League meeting at Main Road back in nineteen ninety three as well. So check that out, guys, if you get a chance. There will be links links on screen and below, and check out my peps 11 and that will be i'm recording this on tuesday so my peps 11 preview which includes the odds and uh, my predicted or look at liverpool as well they've had a few injury problems but fortunately for them they seem to be recovering but i'll have a little chat about that and of course try and predict peps 11 which with a few injuries gets easier to do doesn't it so i'm hopeful on that one so join my peps 11 my match preview for the city liverpool game which will be out on wednesday of this week wednesday before the game so uh, have a look at that, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, with any comments, just give us a shout. It'd be great to hear from you as ever. Until we meet again, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.